Because that day went into my head, said, what does Miguel like? And he said, okay, bet, print that shit out, slap him in. It's almost as if that's the point, Miguel. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I just glitched right there. That episode was a lot. Oh my gosh, that episode was a lot. I was even hot. I had to take off my sweater. If I raise my arms and you see some hair, uh, mind your business, okay? I'm feeling a lot of feelings. The temperature is hot in here. Let's get into the mess. This is Love Island USA, season six, episode whatever. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. Before we even get to this episode, I feel vindicated. Not that I was looking for vindication, but I feel it anyways. So in yesterday's episode, remember when I said I have a fear <laughs> that uh, Nigel would be Hakeem incarnate? And a few weeks ago, I said, I don't like how Hakeem argues with women in the way that he does. It's something about it just made me feel uncomfortable. Well, lo and behold, behold and lo. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Some texts from Nigel to his ex have uh, surfaced online and he is vile. Yeah, let me just say that. He was berating this woman, whoever she was, basically telling her that she's like scum. It was insane. And then wanted forgiveness for it because he was just drunk when he said what he said to her. But then he turned things around and was like, oh, I'm going to Fiji real soon. And you know, I know I've been a horrible person and I don't deserve your forgiveness, but like, I'm sorry and whatever. Like it, whatever uncomfortable feeling we were feeling from Nigel, those who felt it in the last episode have been confirmed. If in fact, these are his messages. It's a scary world out here. But anyways, let's move on because he's gone. Janae is happy that the public sees her and Kenny as compatible. Baby, I'm gonna need you to be all the way for real. The vote was not about compatibility. A lot of the public likes you, okay? They're tolerating Kenny in the meantime. It had nothing to do with your compatibility. Oh, they had a kiss, but I wasn't really feeling it at all. Like Kenny's countenance to me seemed very disinterested until after the kiss then he was hugging up on her he was smiling and all that stuff and i'm like why did your demeanor change after the kiss if he was genuinely interested in janae it wouldn't have mattered if they kissed or not but he had been feeding for this kiss he had been thirsty for this kiss that he's only now feeling satisfied after the kiss he don't like her she's acting like she likes him i don't know why this ain't going nowhere moving on the episode before, Serena admitted to not giving uh, Cordell enough effort, and it seems like she's trying to do so now. Uh, no. <laughs> not like a super feminine girly, you know? Um, <laughs> it's all right, take your time, Pastor. <laughs> I'm a little scared to like open up. Like that's me and I wouldn't want you to like take that in a way like, oh, she's not fucking with me or she don't like me. I really do like you. I ain't even sit here and beat like around you. the bush. And like, like it'll that. take a lot for a man to swoon me. But I really like this girl. I feel like I ain't never really met somebody like her for real. I know she said that she's typically not a feminine woman, but the issue, I don't know about y'all, but the issue that I was having wasn't her lack of femininity. It was the lack of interest. <laughs> like he was just laying it on thick for her and not even in a disingenuous way. He just really, really liked the girl. It was a crush. He was so infatuated by her and she would give him crumbs and he would just be there eating up the crumbs. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, Cordell, please. So I'm glad that she is now putting in the effort. Maybe she is really a slow burn. Mm. Is she? She's the person who I believe the most out of all the people who have said the phrase, I'm a slow burn. She's definitely the one who I believe the most, but do I fully believe that? No, I don't think Cordell is somebody who she would have wanted to be attracted to, but we're here now and feelings have been caught. So yeah, I feel like eventually if they make it out of Casa and she doesn't turn this like, um, she doesn't turn the narrative on him like, wow, I liked you when I was so serious about you when you were acting up a casa. If that doesn't happen, I think I can genuinely support them. 
because it was a little bit of a journey and I was frustrated. But if she's going to be intentional about Cordell going forward, I'm not going to be mad at it. I just don't have faith that that's going to happen. But stranger things have happened. So Kayla and Aaron are happy that Rob and Liv are together. Personally, I just am now questioning their motives in the Leah beef altogether. All of that is now confusing to me, considering that these two are now interested in each other all of a sudden after ruling each other out weeks ago. Yeah, it's giving suspect. Anyways, in the morning, we have Kenny and Cordell who make breakfast for their girls. Kayla tells the girls that she is falling in love with Aaron, but is scared that he might not feel the same, which is odd to me because I swear that's what he was alluding to the previous episode. But okay. Um, Kenny, oh no, Janae says she feels special with Kenny and he says that they're going strong, but he's still going to make his rounds getting to know all of the girls. So then the most amazing twist of Casa Amor is dropped on us. It didn't work, but I like the concept. The guys are given the option to leave the villa to go to Casa or stay. Now immediately, Miguel was like, bye. <laughs> like, there is nothing to think about. I'm out of here. I think Rob was after that. And then I forget who followed. I it doesn't matter. They all went, including Aaron. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what it would have been like if one of the guys stayed. I'm pretty sure even if you were in a secure relationship, it would kind of feel like, damn, all the boys are having fun over there and I'm just stuck with the girls and these new guys. Like, nah, I think if I was a dude, I would go too. But I like that twist. Like, how loyal are you to me, you know? So then Ariana comes and she lets the girls know that, hey, the guys were given a choice and they all chose to go. Now, Serena is doing this whole like, oh, and this is why I don't open myself up to people. It didn't have to be like this. It didn't have to be like this. You didn't have to make this man freaking grovel the entire season, showing him barely any interest. And then all of a sudden, when you want to get on the same page, he's like, well, let me explore my option. And did he even know he was that she was this into him at this point? I don't think he did. So don't you don't don't. Don't try to flip this on Cordell, please, and thank you. Then you have Kayla, who's getting emotional. She literally cried about the situation. And her, I understand a little bit more. However, it is a similar story to Serena, though. When Connor came in, Kayla was like, who was Aaron? Was kissing him outside of challenges and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And just the previous episode before, um, I think that's redundant. Just the previous episode Aaron was saying, maybe I should have explored my connections more. And maybe you should have. Because at the beginning, Kayla didn't give a damn. She really didn't. So I don't really have sympathy for either of these girls, to be completely honest with you. I'm okay. And the game? I forgot about the game. I forgot about what Kayla did in the Yeah, no. No sympathy goes towards these girls. Okay. Moving on. The guys um, keep fronting as if Casa is going to strengthen their relationship. You know what would have strengthened your relationship? Staying. That's what really would have strengthened your relationship and not cause any doubt. Don't make it seem like, oh, Casa is the ultimate test. It really isn't. Because if you can turn your head in Casa, you can turn your head on the outside, whatever. A true test of loyalty is literally sticking with your partner against all odds. But it's fine. We meet the Casa girls. If you are new here, everybody gets a nickname until they graduate into the main villa. Already, I struggle with the main villa's people's names. Casa makes it even worse, especially when both Love Islands are doing Casa at the same time. Can't be bothered. So here are the nicknames, okay? We have Highlights. I think that one is pretty self-explanatory. We have Goddess because of her long hair. I wanted to call her Tresses, but I've used that name before. Snake Charmer because on her thigh, she has a little uh, snake tattoo. And I thought she'd be into Rob, but it doesn't seem like she is. Next is Butterfly, also because of a tattoo that she has. Next is Batty. This girl's just a baddie to me. She is so freaking cute. And last is Spice. She feels like she's gonna bring that Latina flavor. Love that for her. Miguel says something that I was like, mm, I'm pretty sure all the guys are thinking the same thing, but he had the guts to say it. Although the girls in the main villa are beautiful, the girls in Casa are beautiful in a way that matches his type. And that's the key here. Somebody can be as gorgeous as all get out, but if you aren't drawn to them, if they aren't who you prefer to pursue, it typically doesn't go anywhere. But Miguel is like, wait now, 
This is my kind of beautiful. I like this and I like that for you. And I don't like that for the main girls because it looks like these guys are going to move insane in Casa. But I don't think that the main villa had super, super strong connections besides maybe Aaron and Kaylor. But even that relationship I felt like was always on shaky ground to begin with. So let's go. Moving on to the Casa guys. Also, nicknames. You should know this by now. The first one is Muscle Man. I feel like he was so jacked. Like he, oof, muscles on muscles. Next is Tats. I mean, look at his neck. It, it's self-explanatory. Next is Passion because he's just a very passionate guy and I love that for him. Next is Sweet Pea because he's giving baby boy. Next is Trouble. Look at him. He's only bringing trouble. And last is the doctor because he said he is a future surgeon. I know we had our thoughts about the Casa guys when I asked y'all on the community tab, but they look better in motion. Can we agree? I think they look better in motion. Typically, the women get the short end of the stick by getting some guys that are a little bit questionable, but I'm not mad at this group of guys for this group of girls. I think these girls like these guys. Okay. Miguel tells Goddess that he's not entirely invested in Leah, and so she's intriguing him. Someone <laughs> is in front of me, and she's ticking boxes. Oh, no. And making the boy shiver a little bit. Yeah, do I make you, like, nervous? I wouldn't say nervous. You excite me. I was really trying to stay focused on what you were saying, but I was getting really distracted. Yeah. Damn, she's got a beautiful face. <laughs> Her voice, damn, she got a beautiful voice. I've never been in a relationship. I've never been in a relationship. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, are you I'm, serious? That's why I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you copying me? Why are you trying to... No, why are you copying me? Nah, are you trying to read my <laughs> mind out here? The problem with Miguel is he's such a good flirt that I can see him with anyone. Literally anyone. Like, you can put him on any season with any girl and I'd be like, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> like, makes sense. Yeah, I see it. And I'm looking at him with this Selly doppelganger. It's throwing me off. She looks so much like Selly to me. And I'm just like, yeah, it works. But when he was with Leah, I was like, yeah. It works. It would live. I was like, mm-hmm, sure. With Nicole, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Like, it, he just fits so well with anybody. So he's going to have a great time in Casa Amor. Then in the main villa, you have Leah, who is talking to Passion. He said that he saw all the drama, but the drama is not deterring him from exploring things with her. Um, I'm so glad that Leah said it because I was thinking it and I was like, mm, is that ignorant to say? She was like, because I come from an immigrant family, it's easy for me to pick up on broken English and I'm the same. There's a lot of people who cannot hear, for example, I'm doing Love Island UK, right? And a lot of people tell me like, how do you watch the show? I cannot hear what they're saying because the accents are just so thick. I'm exposed to so many immigrants, to so many accents, to like, is it's, it's it's like second nature to pick up on what they're saying. So when she said that, I was like, same girl, same. Cause a lot of people in North America, they cannot hear people outside of this continent. It baffles my mind, but as an immigrant, I feel like that's a little superpower that we have. Um, Spice and Erin are immediately speaking Spanish and she kind of gets vulnerable very quickly. Solo porque no he vivido ahí desde como 10 años. Ay, Así que me cuesta. Ay, Dios mío, habla bien bueno español. Porque como vivía en Andalucía, I like, it's so difficult to not do it. My mom passed away when I was like 10. No. Yeah. That must have like developed your character like so much. It made me who I am and it made me very strong and I have a very amazing guardian angel above me. I'm gonna start crying. No, 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 don't, Shit. it's okay. That's crazy. Fair play to you, man. I love that so much for you. I already yeah. feel like I love you so much. One thing I need Aaron to stop doing is throwing around that word love so flippantly. Like, I don't know if to him it just doesn't mean much of anything, but this is how, let me not say this is how, because I think Kayla was going to do that regardless. But Kayla got so attached to him because of the way that Aaron talks, you know? Kayla does give me the impression that she does fall quickly anyways, but it doesn't help when somebody's throwing around things like future wife, we're going to build a family together. Oh my gosh, I already love you. Like, sir, relax, dial it back. I will say this conversation with Spice though is much better than the initial conversation he had with Kayla. That conversation to me was so fruitless. Whereas this conversation, it seemed to have more substance. And so I was like, hmm, I'm now seeing a trend of Aaron talking to girls who aren't Kayla and getting deeper, quicker with them. So maybe Kayla was right to suspect that the love or the feeling of falling in love isn't reciprocated from Aaron. 
Just a thought, something to think about. Oh, not you messaging a ghost, ghost alert, guys, ghost alert. <gasps> Get off of my phone, bye, ew. Child. <laughs> Anyways, Nicole and Tads have a chat and he says she looks just like his ex. I don't know why the hell you would say that. To me, that is not flattering at all, but she took it as a compliment. She was like, I find him so attractive. And I guess since I'm a spitting image of the ex, he finds me attractive too. Or he's ready to put you in the bin. Just depends how you look at it, you know? Depends, depends. Batty tells Cordell that he is her type all the way. And of course, our boy is gassed. I'm excited to get to know you, to be honest. Really? I feel like, yeah, the outfit. I, like, I love a man that can dress that up. That you know, did it? Like, okay. With that shit on. You're such a king. Like, I feel like you, you actually need someone that reciprocates to your energy, like. I really appreciate these words that you're telling me. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it means a lot, you know. That's how I move. I'm, I'm pretty straightforward, and I like when someone is straightforward as well. I feel like, no questions asked, Cordell should pick Batty. Cordell should pick Batty. Um, give yourself the best opportunity to actually explore a connection with somebody who's interested. I know he wanted to explore with Nicole, but come on, let's be for real. Um, Batty seems genuine at this point. There's always the speculation of, are your intentions true? Especially knowing who Cordell is related to. It's like, mm, what's your game plan here? But as of right now, she's giving him the energy that we have been wanting him to experience since the beginning. Serena might be butthurt about it, but honestly, you had your time. You had your time. Cordell is now having his time. I support him having his options. Bring back Batty. No questions asked. Janae talks to Trouble and he is exactly that. Trouble. I don't want my wife to have to work. If she wants to and she can have her own business and all that, I'm all for it, because I'm all for building my woman up. I was in a relationship with two people. I know, yeah. Was I, it an open relationship or did they both not know? They both didn't know. First girl had the heart. Mm. Second girl kind of had like the conversation. That was a fat red flag, so I don't know about that, but we are gonna see. This man is cute, but all I see is Johnny. <laughs> And if you watch Johnny on his original season and on uh, all uh, all star games, no, no, that's not it. Love Island games, he's a menace. This is giving menace 2.0. The man had two girlfriends that didn't know about each other. Please, bye, bye. I found it comical that he was sharing these like traditional values. Like, yeah, I want to be a sole provider for my wife and whatever, whatever. But I will give him a little bit of grace because if you guys remember Jeff, I think Jeff was two seasons, was that two seasons ago or last season? I don't remember when, when Jeff was here, but Jeff was kind of giving F boy as well, but he also had the, the Southern charm, those traditional values, and he is married now. So stranger things have happened. Maybe trouble is about that life. We don't know. Rob talks to highlights, and even though I don't get his personality, she's very into it. Girl, all the best. I don't know what is intriguing about Rob. I asked that yesterday. I'm still asking today. I don't get it, but these girls like it. So, hey ho. Um, she also says that she is grav she gravitates towards emotionally unavailable men. So when your heart gets broken, I don't want to hear your mouth because it's one thing to be attracted and not know it, but to be attracted and to deliberately walk towards them. Eh, eh. No, ma'am. No. Janae talks to Muscle Man, and I'm feeling this conversation a lot more than I was with her in trouble. It's like, I feel like I want a man that matches my energy. Yeah. Because the way I process life is so different from yeah. like other females, you feel You're me? You're very like mature. I legit identify as like a 45 year old man and a little 27 year old body. I really haven't found someone who's like ambitious on the same type of timeline as me. Shut it up. Oh, <laughs> does that sound cliche? What you're describing is literally me yeah. and we're rare. Yeah. Like there's not a lot of it us. It is super rare. I like it, I like it. I do. I do. I don't know if he would have gravitated towards Janae naturally. Something about him just doesn't give me, oh, Janae is my type. But this conversation seemed to have a good, you know, back and forth. Yeah, I, I wasn't mad at it. I wasn't mad at it. So they end up playing a game called Spin the Bottle. Excuse me. It's going to be hectic. So just follow me here, okay? Snake Charmer wants to know Aaron better and Liv wants to know Tats better. Kaylor thinks Leah and Sweet Pea are the hottest and Rob thinks Highlights and Spice are the hottest. Serena says her type is Tats, which shocked me because I was like, really? That's what you're into? Hmm, okay. 
Yeah, that was interesting. And um, Kenny said that goddess is his type on paper. Passion rated Leah's kiss a nine and Kaylor's kiss a 10. Miguel rated Spices and Goddess's kisses both tens. Butterfly wants to turn Kendall on and Trouble wants to turn Janae on. Highlights kisses Rob and thinks that Spice is her biggest competition. Cordell kisses Baddie because he thought she was shy and clearly she is not. Honey, I had to take a second because listen, I do look at Cordell as my little baby brother, even though that man does not know me from Adam. And the way that he was bouncing this girl up and down, I said, wait, now nah, he can't be little brother no more because <laughs> Cordell, I mean, he's done that to Serena too, but it was different this time. I said, wow, not the boy becoming a man. Love that for him. Sweet Pea thinks that Kayler and Nicole are the hottest, and Aaron thinks that Spice and Snake Charmer are the hottest. Now, after the game, we have both Kayler and Serena kind of sulking, like, mm, should we have done so much in the challenge? Mm, I miss my man, my man, my man. Well, somebody tell your man. <laughs> because Serena and Kayler, your man ain't thinking about you right now. I miss Cordell so much. <laughs> I'm in a little predicament. I said, I'm not going to stop myself from exploring. I literally go to sleep. You trying to put me to sleep? <laughs> you got a beauty mark, you know that? Where? Right there, that one right I have here. a couple. You can explore them. That man has been so patient in me, so attentive. My mind's going a mile a minute. I miss him, and I'm thinking about him. <laughs> Batty is working overtime. And it could just be for the game of it all, but I'm here for it. Sorry. Um, Serena, when she gets egg on her face in a few days, I don't want to hear her mouth, respectfully. I don't. Um, our man had to, our man. See, he's, he's even a man now. I was going to say our boy, but no, our man, Cordell, has been fighting for his life for like almost a month now. Nah, forget that. Forget that. Give Batty a proper try, okay? Yeah. Good job, Cordell. Then we have Kaylor. Kaylor starts crying about this man. She's like, oh my God, Aaron, he's gonna be acting up and whatever, whatever. Girl, the moment he left the villa, you should have known it's only trouble ahead for you. Feeling like really guilty and I'm just like thinking of like his feelings and how he would feel about that. Oh, Ever since he left, it's been so hard. I know, baby. You surprised me a lot. Mm -hmm. Just because you seem like you had a strong connection. Uh, you're making this so difficult. Fuck. You're a really good kisser. Yeah. Mm. Also, you're a really good kisser. Mm -hmm. I think that was my favorite kiss. Ah, uh, stop, stop. During this conversation, I thought for sure one of them would have leaned over and given the person a kiss, but it didn't happen. However, Aaron, Aaron is giving the energy that he would be down. And then the preview came and I said, oh my Lanta, wow. He not only kissed her in bed, he kissed her in broad daylight, outside of a challenge. Oh, Aaron is on smoke. Aaron is on smoke and I'm not mad at it. I actually like him in Spice. And it has nothing to do with Kaylor. Like no ill will towards Kaylor at all. I just don't see it initially as much as I do with him in Spice. It just makes more sense to me. I like it. I like it. And I do have to say too, like the fact that Kayla has been thinking in her head that her feelings aren't um, matched by Aaron. These two don't talk about anything. Not anything deep at least. And when they do talk, they're still leaving with some kind of uncertainty because I swear he told her, I'm like kind of on the cusp. And then he told the guys like, I can see myself falling in love with her, but she still didn't trust him. And I wonder like, how have you guys been building trust? How have you guys been getting to know each other throughout this time? Probably because they haven't. So seeing Aaron move like this, it doesn't really surprise me. Their relationship is not that deep. So hey Spice Girl, do the damn thing. I'm here for it. This is by far my favorite house of viewing to date across all 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 uh all franchises, I think. Yeah. Casa Day One, this was outstanding. I'm ready to see what else goes on. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.